Hi, I'm Zsuzsa from the From Chaos to Other blog um, and I have idea here the I um, want to talk why for us is so difficult to planning and um, stay track with um, normal life <laughs> but um, not so a uh, big task for normal people so why um, we um, like to start new things because um, we um, looking for challenges and we love to learn and um, what's going really well it's uh, not so exciting that I we don't like to do this um, everything is important everything um, we, we want to do everything at the same time and now or yesterday and not tomorrow or uh, next month we that's why I start hundreds of projects and uh, we don't end too much from that because we get excited and so exciting uh, about new ones. So yes, <laughs> we are also forgetful. Also, in uh, everyday stuff like wash your teeth, it's big stuff for me. So. Um, we need to write and track lot 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 more thing than others so that is difficult and um, i think maybe only my thing that uh, because everything is important everything has to be uh, written and by me i have uh, as you might know a lot of planners but if you find the right system for every information, it can work. But it is a lot of work and needs a lot of time. My husband tells me always, I take, I, so I take so much time to writing in my planners and planning and reviewing what I am doing that... Um, he thinks it's not worse, but I think it's worse because um, I'm really, really more organized since I'm doing all this stuff. So, um, let's see what everything to write in a planner. First, you need a calendar and only one calendar what you use um, I have an A5 um, booklet I made this is monthly format I keep here the appointments I have all appointments goes here everything else is copied from here to the weekly, daily, or other planners, but uh, you have to have only one calendar as a main calendar. And you, if you use a weekly and you have to organize a new appointment, you don't allow to write it to the weekly calendar, you have to write it here and then copy it to the weekly or daily or anything so a calendar then they are appointments but uh, yeah i have also not only appointments here but um, such um, stuff i have to do on a certain day of a month or a week or a, in a year so, like here, this little credit card means I have to give pocket money to my kids. It's 
in every uh, first day of the month. So such things are here. Um, what also can help using visual clues like uh, these stickers or colors. The colors means also something um, and uh, the stickers makes things too simple to write because um, I don't have to write too much. Here can you see this uh, little icon. It means I have to go to make exercise. No time. I can go at uh, 5 or 5.30. It's uh, not so important. I don't have to write what I have to do, uh, where I have to do. This icon is enough for me. Or here, washi. Um, this is school holiday. So such um, visual clues also helps. Then uh, other tasks. It's always handy to have lists of routines. So um, take your time and write those tasks somewhere what you have to do every week, every month, every day and uh, create lists of uh, routines. Um, I have some routines in uh, my little pocket planner. Um, I think it's not the whole list here. This is my monthly routine. Here can you see on certain day I have to do or some um, stuff I have to do only some day. Maybe the last uh, weekend or it, uh, it's not important on what day. So I have this list. I have a daily routine. So a morning routine for uh, personal stuff. I think normal people don't write uh, br brush your teeth <laughs> in a planner, but I do because uh, I'm tending to forget that at the morning. I don't forget at the evening. I don't know why, but um, it works for me like this. You have to write what for you makes sense. Um, what you do without um, reminding yourself, you, have, you, you don't have to write. Why? It makes no sense. So I have this daily uh, morning routine. I have a work routine, a task list um, for the day. They keep such tasks as email. Yes, I, I can forget to check my emails and answer for everything. Uh, I don't keep any emails unread. Uh, in my uh, inbox, I read everything when I have to think about and um, answer later. I can add, add a task to my task list, um, answering for someone. someone. But uh, mostly I organize my day like this. I have maybe one hour for work routine tasks and then I do it immediately. Um, so answering to the emails. Um, then I have such thing that uh, post on Instagram a picture or um, uh, check if I um, already scheduled a post for Facebook. So such things are in my work routine. Then I have an evening routine for personal, like um, uh, go through the flat and uh, find everything what not belongs to that place. Then um, 
I have no idea. Maybe emails, personal personal emails. I don't know, see? But I have a list, I can check it and do it. Um, so they are the routines. Um, what I make uh, with the routine stuff, uh, the bigger, uh, so what uh, needs more time, so uh, mostly routine or like this. I uh, write it once a year to my planner, or not write, just using uh, stickers. Uh, oh, and I have also weekly routine. They are not so time-related stuff. I just said, um, check um, kids' library account at Tuesdays, Tuesday. And I do on Tuesday, and I don't um, let it uh, go to Wednesday because I have um, such uh, stuff for every day. And um, if I don't do this on Tuesday, then I will have more on Wednesday, and maybe I will um, run out from time. Um, so, if you have such things, what you have to do every week, um, maybe they are not so important, but handy if you do, like uh, checking kids uh, library account, because my one or two kids are, have also AD, how to say it, AD, AD, okay, I say, I say AD, AD, but I know that it's not correct in English. Um, so my middle daughter brought a lot of money to the library because she didn't tell me when she uh, borrowed books from the library and I couldn't uh, tell her bring them back. But uh, because I know the uh, account number and password, I can check them out and I write it to my planner and um, so I can... Uh, remind her. Um, so they are the routines. Um, reminder, reminder, reminder. Use so much reminder as you can. Um, it has to be working for you. I will show an example. I have uh, the HNDO uh, planner weekly planner printed out where I could write my uh, stuff, so routine tasks here, but I don't see it. It's uh, like that would be not there because it's printed. I didn't wrote it there. They are then not the task. So uh, they are here, but I copy them to my dailies uh, that I can see it, that uh, they exist, then um, you can use such uh, colorful um, page markers or arrows or anything. I use them for repeated um, tasks like uh, dyeing my hair I cannot uh, schedule this for the whole year because something can happen. I don't do this in this week. I do this uh, next week or I bring it uh, one week before because, I don't know, I have to do something uh, on the next week. Then um, I have a uh, flag for dyeing my hair or making my nails and um, I uh, put the flag four weeks later when I did it. Yeah, I think I can say you hundreds of uh, such tips but uh, I don't uh, want to make a huge video so I stop here and um, I will make some 
more specific um, videos like project planning, time management, and um, the better when you ask. So ask please, how can I solve this and this problem? Because I have no idea how to keep track of... Hmm. And uh, when I get uh, such a question, I can answer it uh, more um, concentrated. I know I can, I have friends and I give advices for them, but uh, really, really simpler to advise for a specific question is so... Um, how can I plan with ADHD? Yeah, so please uh, ask me questions in the uh, comment section below or write me an email. And um, if you like the video, please give me a thumb up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Then you will uh, get reminders, reminders uh, next time when I make a new video. See you later. Bye.